Recent comments from President Donald Trump and state lawmakers are keeping the epidemic center stage. WNCT's Brandon Truitt takes a look at what some advocates say can solve the drug problem. Federal and state lawmakers are taking measures to stop the drug problem in the U.S. The issue might seem overwhelming to solve for many. However, some in the East say that finding out how drugs are getting into the hands of users could be the answer. Pitt County Coalition on Substance Abuse Director Elizabeth Montgomery Lee says addicts aren't necessarily getting them illegally. It could be that they are getting them from doctors. They have a legitimate athletic injury. They are prescribed pills for the pain. They then take those and become addicted to them. She thinks overprescribing could also be a contributing factor. When for just a, a medical, maybe they have a bad back, some physicians will give out 90 pills. While stopping the flow of drugs is key, providing services to cure those already addicted also plays a vital role in the process. Natasha Hawley is a clinical director for Integrated Family Services. She says her team has a plan in place to help. And not only are we working to help de-escalate the crisis, but then we're linking them and making sure we're following up. Hawley says addicts often feel isolated and are uncomfortable seeking help. People internalize issues thinking that they have to. They, they are afraid of what they might, uh, people might think of them or um, being judged. To stop the cycle, both women agree it's time for action. It's so important that as a community, we work together um, to try to figure out ways, strategies, how we can partner to address the, the epidemic. Brandon. Both advocates say doctors are not solely to blame. The women say we all take on responsibility in fixing the problem.